guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to make a super delicious crab and shrimp curry to get started here i have some fresh blue crab and i have some super jumbo shrimp i did went ahead and washed them in lemon juice and here i have some onions some tomatoes and thyme i have habanero peppers green onions and cilantro i have garlic coconut milk uh mixed masala curry powder i have my fresh green seasoning here uh, i'll be using some of my own all uh, purpose seasoning black pepper and chicken bouillon so to get started we'll start by seasoning the crab and shrimp i have some black pepper green seasoning and old bay seasoning we'll mix until well combined and then we'll add like one of these spoons which is like a tablespoon into the shrimp and we'll mix and we'll set aside Next, we'll add some water into the mixture just to make like a marinade so that it would be easier to coat the crab with the seasoning. Now we will drizzle this all over the crab and we'll mix until well combined. Then we'll set aside and we'll let both the crab and shrimp marinate for about 20 to 30 minutes. Next, we'll combine our curry powder, mixed masala, and green seasoning into one bowl, and we'll add some water here and mix it into a paste. We'll set it aside, and then we'll move on to the next step. This is a very simple recipe I'm doing today. Usually, I would add okras and green mangoes and all that stuff into my, you know, seafood curry or my crab curry. But today I am doing it very simple because I already have another video with all of those things inside of the curry. So I want to do a different technique and a different, you know, recipe today. So first we start by cooking our shrimp. And in my preheated oil, I'll add one tablespoon of that curry paste that we made. I want the shrimp to absorb the curry flavor from jump. So that's why I'm cooking it in the curry paste. I forgot to mention that the curry was frying for about three minutes. We want it to cook thoroughly before we add the shrimp. So now I'll add the shrimp and we'll let the shrimp cook for about four minutes. We don't want to overcook them. We just want them to cook halfway through because we will be adding it back to the curry in the end to finish off cooking. So we'll cook them for about four minutes and then we'll remove the shrimp. Next, we'll add the remainders of the curry paste into our oil. And we'll fry for about three to four minutes, allowing it to cook thoroughly before we add the rest of our ingredients. Next, we'll add our garlic, onions, and tomatoes. We'll let them go for about two minutes. So at this point, we will now add a little water here. What we want to do is create a little sauce so that it will be easy to coat the crab in here. Then we'll add our crab and we'll coat it evenly with the sauce 
and we'll cover and let it steam for about 10 minutes. So after about 10 minutes, our crab is nicely steamed. And what we'll do next is we'll add our coconut milk here. We'll add the coconut milk, then we'll add our seasonings to add flavor and taste to the dish. Then we'll add our habanero peppers and our thyme. And we'll cover and let this simmer on medium heat, allowing the coconut milk to evaporate a bit. And then I'll show you guys the next step. So this has been cooking for about 20 minutes and the liquid has evaporated nicely. We still want a little bit of that liquid, but not that much that we had before. And now we will go in with the shrimp. We'll add our shrimp back into this and we'll cover and let this simmer on low heat for about five minutes. We just want the shrimp to continue cooking we want it to cook all the way through because remember we had cooked it halfway through before. So we'll put this on low heat so that the shrimp will not overcook and let it simmer for about five minutes. Then we'll be ready to serve. So guys, we have finally come to the end of our crab and shrimp curry. It smells super amazing and it is so simple and easy to make. Lastly, we will add our green onions and cilantro and we'll mix that in. And this is it guys. This is how I make a super delicious crab and shrimp curry. It is simple and I didn't add all the things I usually add to this and it is still amazing guys. I hope you guys give the recipe a try. Now I will plate this up and I'll be back with the finished product. Okay guys, so this is my version of a super delicious crab and shrimp curry. Now I have other videos of crab curry and shrimp curry separately, which I will be linking down in my description box for if you guys are interested. And I hope you guys give the recipe a try. Now I will be enjoying this with some white rice. And I hope you guys enjoy my video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will leave all the ingredients and measurements down in my description box. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy.